folks. All right, we are here with a collection update. Um, we've got some special things on the table. I might do some separate videos regarding these guys, which uh, got a good story about those. A uh, little update on the Crux. I've got the Zerk um, <clears throat> Nano V2 from Ant Design. Am I making a uh, focus here? Boom, there we go. Uh, that is the Zerk version, though. I did have the Titanium one, so we'll talk about some differences on that. I put these guys back together the way they're supposed to be, so I'll let you hear the sound of the all pie ratchet version versus the fixed um, Zerk tie, I guess, maybe? Mocha tie? Ooh, even those. Then you've got these guys uh, repaired. I never did a video of this in all pie uh, because I think I swapped these two plates almost immediately. So it was the PEI in the middle here and bronze here. I didn't really like it overall. So I put them back, even though those are the most impossible pieces to take apart and uh, put back together. So first let's start with um, these Fidget Boy pieces. I think this over here, actually no, better yet. It's the tray. Let's take all the other fellas over here. And uh, let's talk about these guys. So. I purchased the Ronin finally, and for a 3D printed piece. Look at how stinking beautiful that is. Look at that. It's got this really awesome um, shine, almost like, it sounds bad, but like fish scales, like when you look at them and they kind of like glitter in the sun, uh, you know, when you're holding a fish up to the sun. Um, anyway, there's something reminiscent of it to me. Uh, this, you'll never believe it, that means Ronin. Uh, and then it's got this just other plate design right here. Um, there is a version that has little, like a dotted version here versus these kind of like thumb grooves there. So I chose this one, it looked a little cleaner to me, I don't know, I could have gone with either one. And then it's got this nice little indent, which I've been kind of using just to like do that constantly. And then Jason, the fidget boy, was nice enough to send me these two pieces, the um, Pong boy and the Light Bright boy. And uh, he sent these like priority because he wanted me to review these before anybody received them. And I thought, oh yeah, no problem. And uh, I thought they were going to show up on a Saturday and they didn't. They got held back until Monday and Monday I was leaving for a trip to Pittsburgh. So I missed these guys, and I apologize to Jason. I appreciate him sending these to me, but I'm um, just getting to them now, even though people already have them in hand. So apologies, apologies, apologies. We'll start with the Ronin, and then I'll get to those two guys. All right, so the Ronin is a special uh, collaboration between Dam Design and Fidget Boy. So it came with a really sweet sticker that I've already stuck to uh, one of my Fidget collection boxes that says damned boy and it's like the damn design and fidget boy logo mashed up it's really cool so this piece has a really awesome feel great sound good slide um i love the the design, there's almost, um, this design is really kind of the prime design. There's something similar to this, like a peak, um, but 
or other Magnus uh, sliders, but you get this indent on the side for the side push. We've got the bottom kind of elevated piece there for pushing off. And I don't know, uh, ergonomically, this one is just, this kind of design is what fits best. It's almost like an X. Um, <clears throat> that's what fits best. That's what plays best because um, it's got the grooves in just the right spots for your thumb to hit and everything. So it's kind of interesting how a lot of the designs are shifting towards something similar to this. Um, and I don't mean to say that Ronin is not one of a kind. Every They're all one of a kind, but, uh, you know, you learn where the grooves work best. This one, you see you've got that lip down here. You've got the grooves on the side. Um, and then you've got this spot in the middle that you can also push. So this one works really well. Um, there are, let me see here. That one always says hot spots, and I'm not 100% sure what hot spots means. Um, I don't know if this would be considered a hot spot. That when I do that, this one will kind of cross over. Um, so you get kind of magnet proximity. And you've got two magnets down here that uh, are close enough together that once it hits this one, it gets attracted to that other one and wants to glide across. Um, but, let's see, so you get that occasionally with this one, and I don't know if that's just the, if that's magnet proximity or magnet strength for the weight of the body, because sometimes if the body isn't heavy enough and the magnets are strong enough, it'll pull the body with it instead of the body pulling the magnets with it. So. Overall, though, um, this is a killer piece. It's one of the most beautiful uh, Fidget Boy pieces, just with this kind of like gradient purple into pink um, and the kind of sparkly nature of it, almost metallic. Um, really great piece. I like it. I've been using it plenty. Um, with that connection thing or not, um, I think it's, it's worthy for sure. I think this was very well thought out, very well designed. Love to see a metal version of that guy. Uh, size comparison, uh, we'll throw a Magnus slider up against it. So you can see that's a little thicker than those but no thicker than most other uh, Fidget Boy products. So, very good. The Ronin from Fidget Boy and Dam Design right there. All right, then let's talk about these two. These are new. Uh, Jason's just starting to dabble in the world of resin. And so these guys are thick fellas see the difference there especially with this guy this guy's like a barrel check that out um, out of the three that were sent light by light bright boy is my favorite um, it's so rounded that it's it's like holding I don't know what it is, like holding a barrel or something. It's so wild. Uh, but anyway, so he, he's started to um, work with resin. And so this inside, these little bubbles, are a resin plate covered by... Geez, you know what? That's a question I should have asked. This purple might also be a resin. I can't... No, no. Purple is a 3D printed cover over a resin body on the inside, and then a 3D printed 
uh, encasement. So it's got these plates, so to avoid plate stick, less friction, the less surfaces that make contact with each other, uh, the better the slide will be. So you can see that there are just very few waves. You got waves going vertically and then waves going horizontally. And this guy's just big and fun. Really super chunky. So these are thicker ones. You know, he, he made that pretty clear um, when he announced them that these were going to be bad boys. Uh, he did make a video today about, or not a video, but an, like an announcement about these lines here. Some people were <clears throat> assuming that those were cracks, but those are in fact the Z seam. So when you do that, you have to assign a Z seam. You can either assign it all together or you can try to randomize it so that it doesn't show up, but apparently it looks really bad when you randomize it. So making the whole Z seam uh, for the material all in one place is the easiest and least shitty looking. Pardon my French. I didn't even notice it until I saw that uh, post. But uh, just FYI, so when you see those pieces, that's not a problem with the slider. Uh, let's check this out though. This is pretty cool. So, why oh, light bright boy? Because, look at that. That's super cool. So you can shine through there and those really do light up. I don't know if it does it on this one, does it? Yeah, kind of barely. So it definitely shows up better on this one. It's worthy of its name, Light Bright Boy. Um, I really like that. Let's zoom back out down. So that is Light Bright Boy. Which is kind of nice if you're looking for a nice chunky slider. It's just like a I am noticing that's happening on this one as well a little bit. It happens. This wasn't one that you're like really whipping around anyway, just because of its size. So I didn't really notice that until now because I've just been using it more like that. I do this move where I push it out, pull in with that finger, and then push up with my thumb. So you're just kind of like constantly doing that rotation. I really like that. Then let's talk Pong Boy. Um, why Pong Boy though? It reminded me more of uh, bowling, maybe. I mean, you got these, so you can't see the magnets like you can through light bright, but you've got the same swirl plate design. It needs a little, almost like an indent here. It's got a little bit of a curve to hold your thumb in, but it could use just almost like a little push in right there, similar to, to that. And then I think this would take the top piece for me. This 
because it's got these spots right here. I love that. That's really cool. Both these pieces are great. I'd say if this one um, had a little bit more of a, oh, maybe I'm wrong there. I think it's just this spot right here that needs a little more indent. I'd say if that one was right there, this would be number one um, out of these two special ones he sent. But I'd say as it stands right now, my... love meter of these pieces and they're all very close but i'd say it goes like that i'd say light bright comes in first you've got the ronin second and then pong boy third i think those are all really worthy additions to the fidget boy collection though i'll be holding on to those guys beautiful colors beautiful pieces Appreciate that. Thank you, Jason. Um, let's talk about these guys really quick. So we got the pig nose coins. I won't spend too much time on these. This came in last time, last week, uh, and I had already swapped out the middle for the stainless steel one that's in here. Uh, I didn't like that as much, so. louder that guy is. Those are a lot of fun. I mean, that's a clear case of material makes all the difference because these are like two completely different fidgets. So, definitely worthy. Then we'll talk about these guys. Once again, material makes all the difference. So we've got pie, certain bronze, definitely more muted. Uh, I think this one's my favorite of the top F series so far. It's just really... It's got the sound level that I want. It's just super light. That one is a lot of fun. I do need to get the titanium one. I think that would be uh, a really good one too. And we'll talk about the S Nano and Zerk. Uh, shout out to Sean over at uh, Fidget Fix. Um, so, Sean sold me the uh, Zerk one that Ant Design had sent him. And it's definitely more my speed. Uh, I had the titanium one, it was a little too light for my liking, and then um, not as smooth. You know, this one's not as loud. But it's very smooth. I love that. Um, some people were complaining about the fact that the titanium one is sandblasted, so there's a little more grip. I don't have that problem of like really sweaty hands or anything, so it's definitely not a uh, problem for me. Some other people had that, but uh, for me this is perfect. I think this texture gives you plenty to work with, even if you are sweaty. Um, 
So I definitely think that's good. And they're just starting to release new plates for these. So if you go on Ant Design, it's A-N-T Design. Um, they're starting to release new style plates for these. So you can swap them out and have it look a little different. So really cool. And lastly, we'll uh, touch on the Crux one more time. Because this has been my new... Go to just super satisfying move. Just kind of constantly getting it half and half. Um, I'm really glad to see that a lot of the community has kind of gotten behind the crux. Uh, it seemed like there might be some some people out there that just kind of got it and didn't totally get it. Um, that are are kind of coming around now and are seeing the value of it or seeing um, just how much you can do with it or, or just getting comfortable with it. Right? So sometimes that happens. Um, I love this piece. I, I mean, I, I carry it constantly. So definitely a great piece. If you didn't get Crux, uh, I'm sure Mike is going to be doing uh, another run. They even talked about doing uh, additional materials. Of course, that was uh, kind of solely doesn't belong, uh, dependent on how the sale went for the first one. So, um, and, and I'm pretty sure they sold out. And I hope they did. If they didn't, uh, got some cruxes to buy. Check out uh, playforbeans.com. But, uh, Otherwise, we'll leave it at that. It's already 22 minutes, so long enough, pal. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, shoot me an email or reach out in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next week for the update. Bye.